Thank you very much, Mrs. Plummer. Doctor, here is my permanent secretary, Commissioner Mines. Um, Mrs. Coyle Wilson, Executive Director, and my chairman, Mr. Ingram. May I also acknowledge Mr. Morgan from the Forest Association. All other distinguished guests, including the Vice Principal, except today is a historic day. Today is a day where the former Commissioner of Mines can justifiably be proud as fathers and grandfathers <laughs> I think I think they have as the commissioner indicated some fifteen years ago have been struggling with the idea. It has been a long gestation. But today, Mr. Commissioner, it's not a program, it's a school. A school is being launched. A forest and mining school and it starts with an idea that was 15 years ago. And that idea has flourished, and today we can be gathered here. And I want to acknowledge the work and work of the former ministers, especially Minister Henry, for what they did to advance this program. I also would like to place on record my thanks and appreciation to the mining committee, or the quarries committee, Mr. Ingram, for the the, the, the human service that your committee members have given to the country in terms of reviewing applications and ensuring that the provisions of the law and also how that mining is done in a very sustainable way and that we can still leave Jamaica for the generations to come in a better step than how we got it. I am very happy to be associated with this. I am quite pleased uh, Mrs. Wilson, that Excel has agreed to be the first institution to undertake this program. As Excel has a history of excellence and a um, history of breaking new ground. And I speak from a point of experience because they were the first tertiary institution to come into the parish of my birth, St. Mary. When, when everybody wrote us off, Excel saw value in St. Mary. And today, other persons are lining up to come. I'll wait for back and us. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank also the members of the Mines and Geology Department. And I don't know, Pierce, since I've been here, I'm hearing that people from Mines and Geology believe that they are the, the country cousin of the ministry. Mm -hmm. And I want them to understand that they are my first child. <laughs> They are not any country cousin and they are not left behind. I have not yet toured any agency or department of the ministry because the place has been busy. And the first agency or department I intend to tour is Mines and Geology. So I, I want to let it be known because Peter from my office already knows. In taking in the first cohort in this training, we will be accomplishing a major goal because this government believes in the importance of training in the various sectors across the, the nation. It is to maximize the potential within the context of a more prosperous and sustainable environment and development for Jamaica. Our human capital is our most important asset. And highly skilled, per trained person, they are scarce in Jamaica and this school will be filling a need. Mr. Morgan and his operators have been struggling in the dark and in the forest for a long time. We don't know about quarry operation in many parts of Jamaica, Mr. Commissioner. We know about Harvey and Sandbank. But we are at a situation, a place today, where we're going to change that. Mining contributes approximately 3% to the GDP of this country. In the last quarter, the economy grew by 2%, and mining was responsible for 30% of that 2% growth. So mining is going to be, is playing, and is going to play a very, very important role in the economy and in the advancement of our people. I am pleased to inform those who don't know, but I know Mrs. Provano, that it is not only bauxite and marl and sand that is in mind. 
We have persons actively mining gold, silver, copper, and dolomite, which is a component that goes into steel. And of course, there is limestone. And it is not only limestone to go into cement and to, to building blocks, but also to get into the cosmetic industry. I think Jamaica is one of the largest miners of uh, food grade uh, limestone where all the lovely ladies who have on their makeup this morning. I'm sure a lot of you don't, don't remember or realize that the base of your makeup and our food base um, in large part comes from Jamaica, our mining here in the country. So mining is playing a very, very significant role in our development. The whole semi-precious industry, mines and geology had done a very serious set of workshops and seminars to treat with persons who are into that discipline, into jewelry making and other things in utilizing our semi-precious stones that you see in the river. For those of us from country, Mr. Morgan, when we go river, we build and cook see some pretty stone. And we throw them out. My town, man. Eh? Mr. Morgan is a town, man. <laughs> <laughs> but in, in quarry their country. <laughs> so that is an industry that the government had invested in and will continue to invest in. I am interested in the marble industry because housing development is, is rolling on all over Jamaica. And our marble for countertops and floors is something that is being left behind. Yes, I heard that my brother Carl Road sold the marble cutting machine. So, Mr. Nichols, we have to buy back one. <laughs> because we, we have to invest in the fast machine into our into our marble because a lot of the homes today we need to have Jamaican marble on the floors again and on the kitchen countertops we can cut the importation of a lot of these items. I am hopeful that at the conclusion of this program our banks and financial houses will be brought on board so that when quarry operators like Brother Morgan. You see, I come from a history of quarry operators. My father and Michael Wilson's father used to operate in the industry, so we kind of know a little bit about it. That the banks and financial houses will give proper attention and the respect that the industry is due in terms of refinancing and financing the operation at a reasonable rate of return. Because you can't charge the rate that they're going to charge a man to buy a car to invest into a quarry because quarry operation is capital intensive. And in order to do it right and to do it properly and to protect the environment, they need the capital. And therefore, it is my wish that, Mr. Commissioner, you will engage the Jamaica Bankers Association to update them about the program. And when you're going, carry Sister Wilson with you and this vice president so that the banks can get a feel that we are not only talking about this thing, we are actually investing in the school. No, I'm saying Graham is a banker. <laughs> <laughs> so that they can see it as a viable. This is not a fly-by-night industry. And the government is serious about the development of this industry. The initial program is only three months long, but the topics to be covered is going to be an intense program. And it is not only will be done in Kingston, as we heard, but that other community colleges over time will, will, will roll it out so persons who have to travel into Kingston. I want to thank the Council of Community Colleges for taking this bold step. You know, what you're doing is breaking new ground. You're like Star Wars and, and, and Starship taking on frontiers where others have not gone before. And when you see a, a government institution being so agile, we have to congratulate it. Because sometimes it takes years to do what you have done in 18 months. I know, I know you can improve on the 18 months, but it's still <laughs> congratulating you on that. In closing, I want to say a word about illegal mining. We cannot continue as a country with every little person digging a hole anywhere they believe there's a little man and doing them what they could take. The quality of our mall in Jamaica ranges from the very good to the very bad. And therefore, we have to 
established and applied by the standard. I want to urge persons who are listening wherever they are, to know persons who are involved in illegal mining operations, to tell them to stop. The fines is now upwards of a million dollars per breach, and we therefore want to urge persons to apply, to, to be properly licensed and to be guided because in, in doing the license application, the Mines and Geology Department, they are very agile, they are very quick, they are very thorough, and very helpful, that they hold a person and through the process, and now we're moving to help to train the quarry managers. I dream of a day when not only quarries of a certain size will have to have a certified manager, but all quarries would have to have a certified manager. <coughs> Again, I want to thank the Permanent Secretary and the Mines Division in the Ministry and the Ministry staff, the Quarries Advisory Committee, Mines and Geology, except the Council of Community Colleges, the former commissioners who are fathers and grandfathers and even notice commissioners. They're not letting you go alone. <laughs> and to, to the quarry operators who have been major stakeholders who have kept the industry alive. Because a lot of persons, when you speak about mining operation, they think only of the bauxite companies. And therefore, we want to change that. And I think that this school, in going forward, will play a great role in treating with some of the misconceptions that are out there. And we also encourage others to get into exploring <coughs> for other minerals that are here in Jamaica. Because as technology advances, it becomes a lot easier so, what is it, fancy term? Prospect. 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 The prospect for the different minerals. And also, the mines and geology has a wealth of information in terms of deposits. So, Brother Morgan, you may have to go out there and apply for another license to the gold or diamond or something else. <laughs> because you can't stay at that level all the way. In, in treating, especially in our riverbed. In, in mining in our riverbeds, we have to be mindful of the impact of over mining on some areas and the impact on agriculture and soil erosion. And, and that in turn will result in the clogging up of our ports and our bays. And then we have to get into dredging and, and all of that. So we are moving as a government and as a ministry to take the baby steps on a long journey, but with the partners that we have. We are assured of success in this journey so that Jamaica may undergo increase in fellowship, unity, and prosperity. Thank you very much.